Good morning, dear hearts. We are at lesson 130. It is impossible to see two worlds. This also is considered one of the giant strides. Uh, we had one, 127, we have again, two worlds. We believe there are two worlds, or we perceive there are two worlds. And there's a great line from a Mary Chapin Carpenter song, which is given, we're, we're two lives. One we're given, the other one we make. And that's true for these two worlds, okay? The one we have been given is full of love and light and joy and peace. The one that we have made up is full of fear and doubt and dreading and death. So we get to choose constantly which of these two worlds we are going to, um, we're going to validate. What are we going to validate? Because I have a perception, and the Course tells me, this lesson starts with, perception is consistent. And so whatever I'm going to perceive within my mind, because remember the thought always comes first. Whatever I am going to perceive in my mind, I am going to see. I'm going to see with either my holy mind or I'm going to see with the body eyes. And the, what I see with the body eyes is the fear and the doubt and the ego world. That is the world that is ruled by the ego and the mantra is seek but do not find. And in that world, I will never find. I will seek, I will think I find, it will fade away. And I will be forced to cease and seek a seek ceaselessly again and again and again for what it is I believe will bring me happiness. In contrast, I am given a world that holds within it all of the light, all of the love, and everything I ever could possibly want. Again, the gifts of God. Not necessarily mentioned in this lesson, but that's what, that's what the true world real world holds for me okay remember yesterday's lesson beyond this world there is a world i want that's it that's what i want so practice today six times a day five minutes each um begin searching is i'm going to read from the the, le the lesson now begin your searching for the other world the one we want uh by asking for a strength beyond your own for the other world by asking for, I'm sorry, messed up. Begin your searching for the other world by asking for a strength beyond your own and recognizing, recognizing what it is you seek. You do not want illusions, and we don't, all right? Um, it says that we, to remove ourselves from the petty treasures of this world, from the ego world, because those are the things that aren't going to last. Okay, so as we go into the practice, we wait for God to hear us and to help us. And we say, it is impossible to see two worlds. Let me accept the strength God offers me and see no value in this world that I may find my freedom and deliverance. And, um, and then, of course, it goes on that, you know, whenever anything is going to tempt us today, to say it is impossible to seek, to see two worlds. I seek my freedom and deliverance, and this is not part of what I want. That sentence, this is not part of what I want, is so incredibly powerful because it says, I am willing to see differently. And my willingness, that awareness of my willingness will guide me and give me the strength to allow what I truly want to find its way into my life, or really for me to find it, okay? It's there, it's right there, but I believe it's hidden. Okay, um, that's it for today. I hope you share, I hope you subscribe, uh, and I hope you have a lovely day, and I hope you see the world that you truly want. Namaste.